What's going on, Chill with Dance Squad? It's your boy Ant back with you guys with another video. So, we got to talk about the events that took place tonight on Monday Night Raw because this, the first Raw for 2024, like I said before, Happy New Year, welcome to 2024. This Raw was a really good one, and we got to talk about the, the highlight of the show, which personally one of my favorite because. And I and first before we even get into that, I would love to give a huge uh, shout out to Triple H because he went on Twitter the other the other week that a former WWE champion was going to be who was going to make an appearance on Raw to to kick off the new year because everyone been spreading rumors that it was going to be big. Big E, Brock Lesnar, or who I could possibly think. Goldberg, but that's the here near there. But I, this is what I loved about Triple H because there there has been some tease and I've started to notice it as well. Or most likely he might bring The Rock. Cause I think The Rock was cause tonight's Raw was at, at uh California and The Rock was there as well. But I think he was doing some um college football uh, pre-show, uh, pre-show about for a uh, Pro Bowl for some game. I probably forgot, forgot, but he was there at Cal California, and that after that, when we came from a commercial commercial break, right? Everybody in the crowd was having their phones out because they were assuming that some some big. Former WWE champion was going to make an appearance on Raw, right? And then it's none other than Jinder Mahal. And the, what's even crazy? What I loved about this, Triple H loves doing this and is trolling the fans. Cause I like what Triple H did here. And you see people just put their phones back, rolling their eyes and sighing like, oh my god. Even me personally, I was like. Really? This is what we're doing? <laughs> but I like what Triple H did here because they're probably saving saving it down down the uh for some sec segment. And plus, yes, I'll have I'll admit it, Jinder Mahal, he is a former WWE champion. I'll give give props to that, but his title reign, it was not even that that good. Probably one of the worst championship reigns ever. And I don't even know why WWE even decided to Put the title on him back in 2017, but that's the here near, near there. But Jinder Mahal cutting this se segment, and then during that segment, The Rock comes out. And boy, oh boy, when The Rock's music hit, oh my god, the crowd was losing their shit. It was even crazy what caught my attention as well. The ring announcer, uh, Samantha Irvin, her reaction when she jumped out of the chair and most likely reacted when The Rock's music hit. Yo, the crowd was literally losing their shit when The Rock came out. The Rock giving his speech, burying Jinder Mahal and all that type of stuff, and proceeds to give my man Jinder Mahal the beats, because Jinder Mahal did attack, attack him at first. Rock fought back. He slams him through the ground, and this is one of my favorite moves from The Rock of all time. I do not care what anybody but he says. The People's Elbow is personally one of my favorite moves from The Rock. That and The Rock Bottom as well. So, he hits that, and then he cuts a little promo right before he leaves the ring. And this is where it really caught my attention. This man, The Rock was said that he was going to go out and get something to eat. He, and this is where is this gets interesting. He said that should I sit at a booth? Should I sit at the bar? Or or should I sit at the head of the table? And when he said that, oh my god, it they really put they, what WWE did here tonight. They really legit pulled the trigger because everyone has been been wanting to see Rock versus Roman. And the thing of the matter is this the fight, the match between Rock and Roman, it was supposed to take place 
last year's WrestleMania in the SoFi Stadium, but that didn't that didn't happen. And plus, they were been planning on talking about this in the beginning of 2022. And now that The Rock has mentioned that he's calling out Roman, sign me up. Sign me up. But for me personally, if this match were to ever to take place, for me, for my personal opinion, I definitely see this match happening at the Elimination Chamber. Because the Elimination Chamber... Is, ne is next month is most likely going to be at uh in Australia because I can guarantee to you if they somehow do this match Rock versus Roman for at the Elimination Chamber, I can guarantee to you that whole where if they're going to be in Australia, it's going to be sold out within within a set within a day because the fact that they're if if they're going to have this match Rock versus Roman. It has to be at an elimin elimination chamber. But for me, for my personal opinion of how I see this, for the next person who should go after Roman and most likely taking the title off him should be Cody. But I think they're probably setting that up for uh, for Cody to be in the elimination cha chamber match because it doesn't make any sense for Cody to win the Royal Royal Rumble twice, twice in one year because I think they're probably setting that up for... Uh, CM Punk or Seth too, but I'm just I'm just saying in my personal opinion because they got so many so many options, but this this was really legit highlight of the night for my per my personal opinion hands down. But I would really love to see see how this plays out, and I'm really super hyped and pumped up to see like how is this gonna play out this Friday on SmackDown New Year's Revolution because I know there's supposed to be a triple threat match for who is going to face Roman for the title at the Royal Rumble. But I really want to see Roman's uh how Roman's going to respond now that his uh the great one the rock has called him out. But sign me up. Sign me the fuck up, bro, cuz I'm really looking forward to like how is this going to play out, but for me personally in my personal opinion, I definitely see Rock versus Roman. I don't I don't want mind if they somehow do uh, have it at Res WrestleMania. Don't get me wrong. But for me, in my personal opinion, I definitely see uh, Rock versus Roman at Elimination Chamber. Because trust and believe me, the Elimination Chamber is at Australia. I can guarantee to you that whole place is going to be so freaking packed of the fact that they're going to see Rock versus Roman in Australia. And the people in the... Uh, the fans that are watching it, they're really legit watching The Rock and Roman go at it. And this is going to be a good one. Rock versus Roman to see like who is like the true head of the table. Sign me the fuck up, bro. I kid you not. But this Raw was a really good one to start off the year for 2024. I'm really looking forward, forward to this of how they're going to play play this out. And I'm certainly looking forward to uh, how is this going to play out this coming Friday on SmackDown. How Roman is going to respond to the fact that The Rock has called him out. But overall, this Raw was a really good one to start the year. So comment down below. Let me know what do you guys think of it. Because for me personally, in my personal opinion, I definitely see... Rock versus Roman at the Elimination Chamber, or if somehow they pull like the biggest swerve in WWE history, where The Rock somehow ends Roman title, uh, Roman's title reign, which would be crazy. Which I know for a fact they're not they're not gonna do it, but somehow if they did, however, where where is that gonna go for, for Cody's uh, finishing the story? But I know for a fact that's not gonna gonna happen because you know they have big big plans, but I don't think they don't have. I don't think they're not going to have The Rock be in the Elimination Chamber match if they somehow they they do have it. Because for me personally, I don't want Rock to be in the Elimination Chamber. Because let's be honest, y'all. It's The Rock. But I'm really looking forward. This got me super pumped up to start the year right. So comment down below. Let me know if you enjoyed this uh, Monday Night Raw tonight. I appreciate the time. Roll to 1K. It's up and stuff. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you run them like, subscribe, all that good stuff. We just getting started. I love y'all so much for showing love and support to the channel. I really, truly appreciate it. Thanks for chilling with me. I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace.